Doctors, a very, very good evening to you. Friday evening, of course. Hi, Debbie. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, it's Scotty McClure saying hi to you live here on TikTok. How amazing is that? Wonderful stuff. Welcome, 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 I say. Now then, Maria's just joined us. Fantastic, Maria. A very, very good evening to you. Do you like the new hat? I thought you might like that one. Tiggity boo, I say, fantastic stuff. And uh, I hope you're all well this Friday evening. Nothing gets past me. Just coming up to 25 minutes past nine, just a short pop up tonight to see how you all are. How amazing is that? So tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live on TikTok just for you. This is the big one. Now, just to also let you know, I have uploaded lots and lots and lots of new TikTok videos for you. So get on there, enjoying all the fine fare just for you. Tara has joined us. Welcome. As soon as you join, please follow because this is big. Scotty McClue live just for you Friday evenings. If you're scrolling through, stop because this is the one for you. Fantastic stuff. Thank you very much. Craig has joined us. Glasgow Joiner has joined us. Tremendous to have you all with us on a Friday evening. Now, you might not have been expecting me quite as early as this, because usually I think we do a 10 until 11. But tonight, if we do a, a half nine, and uh, a, a half nine until 10, shall we say, something like that. Lahoob has joined us. Dinky do Lahoob. Lovely to have you with us, and well done. Did you know, Lahoob, that Dev was a professor of mathematics? Ha! How interesting is that? Hello, you too, Scotty McClue, and you too, Lahoob. Lovely having you with us. Welcome, 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 everyone. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Spread the word round your TikTok and say the big man is live. What's your favorite shop? Now, Sam, why on earth would you ask somebody that question? What a strange question to ask. You're not a troll, are you? Because sometimes trolls ask, things like that. So tell me that you're not a troll. I wasn't aware of that, Scotty. Well, there you are, I hope you see. We all learn something all the time, and I seem to learn more than most. Hello, Frey Aberdeen. A Paul fat like fools your dues, Paul. I can. Lovely to hear you, Weir's Loon. Good evening, good evening. Hey, you're back live. How are you? Simeon, dinky do from Scotty McClure. Are you heard of the new restaurant? There we are. No, I haven't heard that one. Scotty, do you like Colin the Caterpillar? Well, how very good of you to ask, Pennywise. Dinky you do. Now then, good evening, Scotty. How are you tonight? What well, excellent Johnny boy. Thank you for coming and joining us. Bonjour, Monsieur McClue. Bonjour. Bonjour, Brun. Lovely to have you with us. And there's J-Dog. Dinky do, Scotty. How are you this fine evening? Very well, J-Dog. And I hope you are too. Thank you so much for joining us. There we are. Scotty, what's your favorite kind of pie? McClue's pies. We like the vegetarian lattice slice with the rich chicken sauce. Very, very nice indeed. Thank you very much. Helly B has joined us. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Thank you. Loving your bunnet. Do you like that one, Johnny boy, Johnny? It's a bit of a flying saucer, a bit of an artiste de France. I think, but we like that one, Scotty. Bonjour, bonjour, Monsieur Savant. Oui, oui. Hello, Scotty, you ear mate, Jake. How lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome for our Friday night pop up. Let's see how many we can get on tonight. Tap, 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 tap on your screens. Fantastic. Karim has joined us and sent me beautiful TikToks. Thank you, Karim. Oh my goodness, five TikToks or oh, six, seven. Eight, what are you, nine, ten, stop, Karim, stop. Very, very generous. Karim is such a lovely man. Thank you for forward, forwarding me all that stuff about those anti-monarchists. Anti we'll get stuck into them. Scotty, I love your berry maker. You look, you look French, Francais. Oui, oui. Hey, Scotty, how are you? Do you like women? I don't like women, no. I love women. Hi, Scotty from Laura and Nat. Can you wish my husband Nat a happy 40th for today? Absolutely, Laura. Dinky do. 
There we go. Are you a misogynist? Oh, I wouldn't know what that is. I shouldn't think so. I've never been called it before anyway. Uh, hello, Scotty, dinkiest of do's. Fantastic. No, I'm, I'm a very happy person, actually. You know, so there we are. So that's quite good. Uh, Chico has joined us. Lovely to have you with us, Chico. Uh, you're not a misogynist. Heavens above, no, Tom. Heavens, why would you ever ask? I booked Carlisle, Scotty, Kareem. I'm not surprised. It's such an outstanding city. Carlisle, Cumbria. Used to be Cumberland. I can remember it's Cumberland. Do you like Northern Ireland? I don't like Northern Ireland. Flash. I love Northern Ireland. I love it. Fantastic. Scotty, your berry makes you look so young. Aren't you very kind, my onion Johnny? Love the hat, Scotty. Holding any Twitter spaces sessions soon? Ah, excellent. Uh, wonky pint. I'll maybe work on that and see what's about tomorrow. Top man. Absolutely flash. Top man. Your attitude towards women in some of your videos seems pretty off. Can't lie. I've never experienced anything like that. I can't remember ever having any attitude towards women. Uh, or men, for that reason. There we are. Scotty knows every blade of grass in Northern Ireland. Every blade of grass in the Emerald Isle. Question, Scotty, how does a spy know when he runs out of invisible ink? Ah, uh, yes, very, very good question, that. Absolutely. He would have to use orange juice. Bonjour, mon ami. Bonjour, Frank. I don't think I'm giving away any secrets there. Hey, Scotty, just back from Moffat, went to the Devil's Beef Tub. Have you ever been there? Ah, oh, lovely restaurant. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Eaten there many times. <laughs> See what I just did there? I know it. Did you go to the Greymere's Tale? Did you go up to St. Mary's Loch? Moffat is just outstanding. I love it. I like going down to the river. I used to take a friend's red setter. And uh, we'd go down to the river. There we are. This man's in denial. I don't think so, Theo. I don't think I've ever been in denial. Can I get a shout out to Mark? Uh, so there we are. Uh, Scotty, it's normal to enjoy your own company more than most people would, because I do. Aaron, certainly nothing wrong with your own company, not with the amount of work you'll have done on yourself. Scotty, we know Susie called a third time, not shown online. Did Mr. Martin ever call back? No, Wonky Pint, I think it was just... Uh, we don't know Susie called a third time. We think she phoned three times. Uh, did Mr. Martin ever call back? No. No, that was the end of Mr. Martin calling, I can tell you. But guys, I've, I've uploaded new videos to TikTok, so get on with that. Uh, hello, Scotty Dinky Do. Hello, Josh. How lovely to hear from you, and I hope you are well. Any news in the numismatism front? I love your bonnet, you look French. Oui, fair, merci, madame. Uh, I we did, Scotty, with a coffee at the wee cafe at St. Mary's Loch. Madman, and you don't know if Tibby Shields was there? Fantastic. Uh, what do you think about East London, guys? Oh, I love East London. What, what, what a fantastic place. I love to be brought up there. Right up the apples and pears. Watch your cock. I tell you. Maria Knight has sent me a beautiful panda. Maria, I don't think I quite thanked you for your wonderful, wonderful generosity last night. You're very, very kind. Guy, Maria Knight, if you see Maria giving me gifts, she has virtually single-handedly sponsored Scotty McClue from the start, live on TikTok. Incredible. Say hi to Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. Hi to Jacob. Hi, Jacob. Disco Pete has come on and in his customary kindness has sent me eight TikToks. Thank you, Disco Pete. Are you sporting a beret, Scotty? I am, monsieur. Wait, wait. Maria Knight, stop. That's my favourite, and that's the second night you've done it, you naughty, naughty girl. Oh, Maria, darling, that's so beautiful. You know, I love it. The Diamond King, it flashes up with a huge diamond in a beautiful satin green box, a velvet box. Ah, oh, 
Oh, thank you, darling. I, I, I wasn't mentioning that just so you would give me such a wonderful gift. Thank you, Maria, darling. She's so generous. Hi, Jacob. It's totally normal, Aaron. I, Aaron, I enjoy my own company a lot. Quite right, Lahoub. You can't say finer than that. If I was you, I would enjoy your company as well. Uh, you've never been in denial, but have you been in the fourth? Um, I Have I been in the fourth? And I haven't swum. Have I? Yes. Yes, I've swum in the fourth. Uh, Lord Reith the Labrador, God rest his soul, there he is. He and I went swimming at North Berwick. I knew I'd been in the fourth. Yes, we swam at North Berwick on a summer's day, and it was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I, I sort of chummied the Labrador back because he'd kind of overtired himself doggy paddling out to meet me these dogs are amazing so there we are thank you very much i don't know denial at all is it a town or a village hi remember me sir aaron aaron of course i do lovely to have you with us nothing much new a two pound coin getting released into circulation after a year of delays josh dolan you are a very interesting man we thank you Josh Dolan, guys, is an absolutely top numismatist. So there we are. So he keeps me updated. Josh Dolan, stop. That's very, very generous of you. Stop. Stop. Josh Dolan is sending beautiful gifts. How amazing is that? TikToks, but you mustn't, Josh. You must save your pennies for buying more rare coins. Thank you so much. Stop, Josh. Stop. Oh, my goodness. We stop. There we are. It's to commemorate the 75th anniversary of D-Day. Ah, Josh, I get you now. Josh, please stop. Oh, my goodness, so generous. I'm, I'm embarrassed. Josh, maybe tomorrow can be a top hat. Uh, Frank, do you like the different hats? We've got one or two to go. Can we please have a big dinky-doo to American Scottish superfan Eva Mars? Yes, you can, wonky pint. To Eva. We say dinky do. We love you in America. Come and join us. Welcome, welcome. I support Scottish independence, says La Hoop. La Hoop, that's very, very kind of you. Hands across the sea, I say, but only under the Queen. Very important. Bagpipes or pipe bags? Well, I've I've once used a pipe bag to pipe a cake. So what about that? Can you say hi to my sister, Caitlin, please? Of course I can. The lost 29, 129 sloth. Eddie says, hello, hello, Eddie. How lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Disco Pete has sent two beautiful golden microphones. Disco Pete, you are a very kind and generous person. Josh Dolan, thank you. Uh, Aaron says, do you remember me? Yes, of course I do, Aaron. There we are. Spit that out again, blokey. No, Carla Clements. We can't with COVID. So there you are. Can I get a hoo in the style of David Attenborough? Walking along this ancient piece of land, dried up by the sun, formerly the home of an ocean, it's very interesting to shout, Hoo-ya! Scotty, were you tested at school? Oh, boy, was I tested. These teachers didn't have to test you. I can tell you that. Scotty, I can't stay for long, but how are you, my man? Lovely to see you. Clingstar, you don't have to stay too long. It's just lovely to have you with us and a big dinky-doo for Friday evening on TikTok with Scotty McClure. Tremendous stuff. Now, uh, you don't ask that, Liam. Scotty, are you super impressive? Is there anywhere you haven't been? La Hoop, I have been to most places, but I'm not terribly well-traveled world-wise. But I do know my uh, UK. I know my Ireland. I know my West Coast Islands. You know, all that sort of thing. Scotty, it's me, Shakaroni. I've got a new name for now, dinky-doo. Unknown username. Dinky do to you. We love you. Scotty, what's your take on irresponsible dog owners? I cannot stand them. Uh, what are your pronouns, Charlie? We never, ever, ever do pronouns. It's old fashioned, it's divisive, it's unnecessary, and it's an attempt at labeling. So have nothing, nothing. 
to do with anyone's pronouns. Hoo-ha! There we are. Now, evening all, dinky do. What do you think of the film The Wicker Man? It's a wee bit scary. Now, dinky do, Scotty. I love myself all over, says CWW. I'm not surprised. I'm sure you're a fine fellow. Thank you, Josh, for sending 80, 80 TikToks. Guys, the wonderful Josh Dolan, our top numismatist, has just sent 80 TikToks. Naughty, naughty boy. Very, very kind and generous. Thank you, Josh. Have you been to Dumfries? Have I been to Dumfries? I am virtually a dune hamer. Do you know Bees Wing? Do you know that at all? Do you know St. Joseph's College? Do you know Crichton Hospital? Do you know Dumfries General? Do you know Dumfries Academy? Do you know the Old Brig? Do you know the Hole in the Wall? Do you know um, the Nith? Do you know the old Theatre Royal Dumfries? Oh, have I been to Dumfries? Now, who else have we got? I love these lives, Scotty. I just wish I could give you more Maria Knight. You never, ever, ever have to give me a thing. You have just spoiled me. And I hope you get so much joy out of these lives. I would love you to tell me what it is in particular that you find so compelling about them, that you are just so kind to me. Thank you, Maria. Oh, my goodness me. Nobody could ever ask for more. Now, a universal credit says, my favorite sweaty sock right here. Now, universal credit, I think that's your Cri de coeur. That's your way of begging for mercy and telling us that you personally suffer from athlete's foot. So what you need to do is take off your sweaty sock, even if it's your favorite, put it in the wash, wash your feet, and rub on some antibacterial foot cream for athlete's foot. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. Sorry if somebody's having their supper, but a poor soul on suffering from athlete's foot. So Scotty McClure has hopefully helped him. Hey, from Germany, from Bavaria, from a BMW. Uh, yes, Bavarian Motorwerken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's lovely to have you with us. Nicht Deutsch sprechen. Ich bin ein Auslander. Nicht verstehen. Guten Tag. Guten Abend. Ja, ja. Excellent. Oh, thank you. Wunderbar, wunderbar. Now, who have we got? Who is this Mr. Rangers shouting? Mr. Rangers, I'm just going to dump you for trolling. We don't troll and we certainly do not spam. So there we are. Fantastic. Right. Good evening, Scotty. Love the hat. Hiya. Thank you, Scotty. Dinky do wonky pint. Hi, Scotty, says Liam. Liam, lovely to have you with us, Dinky do. Can everybody go on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel? You'll see the URL in front of you and subscribe. I thank you. Have you all followed me? Please all follow right now. My guy, you are unique. James Shaw, you are so kind. Maria has sent me weights because she knows I bodybuild. Ooh, look at these biceps, eh? Is that not amazing? Fantastic. Thank you, Maria. Bless you, darling. Save your penny. Shared out. Josh Dolan, that was so kind of you. You had no need to do that. You are very thoughtful and very kind and deserve the biggest of dinky doos from Scotty McClue. Thank you, Josh, and good luck with the numismatism. And thank you for your thoughtfulness, your thoughtfulness and your generosity. Maria is sending me TikToks and red roses and all these beautiful things. Thank you, my darling. Hello, Scotty Dinky Doo. Just finished 15 hours of work. Ryan Lake, you need to chill out big time, boy. What you need to do is watch a bit of Scotty McClue and smile. This is all to do with joy. Scotty, now, CWW, if I were you, I would be so shocked 
at my own naivety. How ridiculous are you? Now, what you're doing, CWW, because you decided to troll, because you thought this was just an ordinary TikTok live, you are now going to receive what we call a lifetime ban. So I'm toasting you, and I'm now sending you down the swanity for purility. Go and check that up. Right, guys, say bye-bye to CWW24. Here he goes. CWW24, dinky do tara la Doing the swanny. Woo! There he goes. That's for being an idiot. Uh, Scotty, why do you feel that Scotland would only survive under the crown? La hoob. Scotland has survived under the crown for 2,347 years. The crown is essentially Scottish. Scotland took over the English crown in 1603. The fact that the monarchy was then Scottish made the English a little bit anxious and embarrassed. So in the 1700s, after the Act of Secession, you had um, the monarch calling himself the King of Britain. Yes, the King of Britain. But the monarchy is essentially Scottish, and Her Majesty the Queen is our sovereign lady and the head of state for Scotland. And she's graciously granted the Scottish people parliamentary sovereignty. So she's granted a Scottish parliament for Scotland. The first minister, of course, takes her oath of allegiance, as do the MSPs to Her Majesty the Queen, and she is very much it and a bit. Now, there is a motto for the Scottish crown, and it's Nemo me impune la Cesset. You'll see it written up large, away up above the drawbridge at Edinburgh Castle and many other places. And that means nobody attacks me with impunity. Quo dor medal we me. So you can split the parliaments, or you can have a go at splitting the parliaments, but you never, ever, ever meddle with the crown. It's not for discussions. It's not for grabs. There will be zero republics, all that sort of stuff. Otherwise, why would Her Majesty agree to sign the royal assent for the Scotland Bill to become an act? Are you with me? I wouldn't if I was her. Uh, were you teased at school, Scotty? Never, Mr. Rangers. No, nobody would have ever risked that. I can assure you. There we are. It must be the 75th anniversary of national service. You know, Angela, you're absolutely bang on. You're always up to date with great information. Sing songs, says Eddie. In a wee while, the Queen of England, brother, last time I checked, well, you checked wrong, Scottish knight. The Queen of Britain, which includes Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales is a principality and is in the gift of the Prince of Wales, who is the heir to the throne, Prince Charles. So you check again, Scottish Knight, and you will find that in perpetuity, the second she was coronated, it was axiomatic that Elizabeth became the Queen of Scotland. All right, la, there we go. Hi, Scotty. I've had many a good holiday in North Berwick, dinky do or Richard. North Berwick is outstanding. I absolutely love it. You're trying to get a knighthood, not at all, Scottish knight. I've had something far bigger than a knighthood. I had Jack Mulroy and Ricky Fulton, who were the knights of the theatre in Scotland, telling me that they were big Scotty McClue fans and listened every day. So that's my knighthood. I don't need a knighthood. The only knighthood I would maybe even consider would be a KCVO, because that's in the gift of Her Majesty, and I would only accept it if I thought I could do good for the Scottish people. Because the reason the honour system was introduced was to bring the people closer to the palace. All right, sir. And if you're a Scottish knight, you should know that. Scotty, dinky do, Scotty. 
Do you have a P.O. box? I don't, Josh. No. Uh, good day to you, my good sir, Will Swan. Thank you, do. Hi, what are your pronouns? Marsha, never, ever, ever ask anyone's pronouns. It's root, it's divisive, it's old-fashioned, it's unnecessary, and it's attempt at labelling. Don't be fooled. Excellent stuff. Just somebody's first name is all you need. Uh, there we are. What's the hat, Scotty? He's a mon beret. Oui, oui, bon chance. I say to you. Evening, Scotty, my man. Evening, Cammy. Lovely to have you with us. Hey, Scotty, from the Isle of Butte, doing the water. Do you know cooling? I used to work on a boat, and during the 1969 Siemens strike, the boat got sent down to Rothsey, to collect Johnny Beatty and the Alexander Brothers from doing a summer show in Rothsey in 1969. And I was on the boat. That's where I got a taste for showbiz. Ah, wonderful stuff. Thank you, dear Scotty. Oh, CWW, you're away down this one. Eh? Scotty, we're going to dink you all night. We're going to start the debate. Get the debate started, user 602. Don't be silly. I do love the hole in the wall. Max Hullison's hole in the wall. Can you try your best Australian accent? Oh, man, Australia? I'd have to change hats before I even rest it. Now, here we go. Watch, he's got a hat. That's not a hat. This is a hat. This is a genuine jackaroo. Excellent. Let me show you. There it is. Can you see that? Jackaroo. Or as I said to a friend when I first asked about it, what does Jackaroo mean? I said, I'm sorry. There we are. So, okay. So, fair dink of tell you all the Bruce's and Sheila's. I'm just going to do a bit of sharing. And I'll say to you, dinky do and fair dinkum to Scotty McClue. Yep, absolutely. Did you like that? Fantastic. The hat. Jack G has sent me 39 TikToks. Wow. Funny, because I have a lot of the same features. Ah, Kathleen. Thank you, do. So there we are. So user 602, get the debate started. We asked if Winston Churchill is a good guy or a bad guy. You tell me, user 602. We can't dinky do all night, for goodness sake. Right, who we got here? You were my music teacher. I thank you. I hope you're very good at music. Now then, Maria has sent two beautiful roses and two TikToks. We love it. Good day, mate. Good day, the bright, nice guy. So there we are. Now, uh, can you please pronounce my name? Akshino. Akshino. Say, say, no, I'm not saying that. Uh, now, what have we got? Don't even think about trolling, dinky do. Well done, more salt. Good day, mate. Have you been to Australia? Oh, I'd love to come, though. I'll tell you that. That's where I got my jackaroo. My sister brought me it back. Scotty, good boy. Scotty boy, good evening. Beachy, beachy. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty, dinky do, I say. Thank you, Scotty. I missed you. I hope you're doing well, my guy. Guys, please follow me and like all the TikTok videos. Also, subscribe on the YouTube channel. Very important. What is your job? My job is to inform, educate, and entertain. I work sometimes at very, very high level, and I work at different levels. Scotty, uh, do you think the union will ever end? Not if you've got anti-monarchists. They are very high risk to independence in Scotland. So any Scottish nationalist who is anti-monarchist, forget it. You have single-handedly clobbered Scotland getting independence. There we go. Scotty, I'm in Wales for a holiday. Ah, yucky da, borada. Ah, no star. All people with the same skin grouping as my mother say my mother's, they have the rights the same. Kanga Joey, you are 100% correct. There we go. Uh, now, Bryce, can you grow up with the four letters? 
Nobody is ever going to say that. How puerile is that, Bryce? Grow up, son. Grow up. Right? Get something decent. Uh, we'll have to get rid of You obey Supreme Leader Nicholas Sturgeon? No. Nobody obeys in that sort of way. But we do honor her as the first minister. Fantastic. No, she obeys Her Majesty the Queen. Scotty Dinky Doo, are you a lord? I am the first lord of the internet. Hashtag float eye. Tremendous stuff. I'm a lord. Excellent, Bryce. Well, grow up then. Be a grown up lord. There's no Queen of Scotland. There never was Queen of Scots. No Scotland, brother. Scottish Knight, you are talking out of your muffin. I can tell you exactly, of course, there's a Queen of Scots. Always has been Mary, Queen of Scots. And the Queen has taken over from the ancient lineage. She is in direct line. Her father, George VI, was a direct descendant of Robert II. So there we are. She's got a lot of Stuart blood in her. Will you grow your hair out like Boris Johnson? Yeah, I'm working on it. I think the rate my hair grows at nowadays, if I give it another 100 years, I should have a fair mop of hair like Boris. Fantastic. Ricky Fulton, a legend and a gentleman, R.I.P. Aizawa, also um, Jack, Jack Mulroy. Lovely, lovely man. You look like Henry VIII. That's original Mark. Well said, sir. I shall play him. I shall play Henry VIII. The, king, the queen became the queen when King George died. Angela, you're 100% correct. I don't know what that Scottish knight is on about. Blethering a lot of rubbish. What's your job? I am the informer, the educator, and the entertainer on TikTok. Thank you, do. do you think? Uh, yes, we've got all that. Now, what party do you support? Winston Churchill was a man of his time. He stood against tyranny in the world's time of need. User 602, did he? Or could the Second World War have been avoided with a lot less about the man? Scotty, do you know the Royal Arms? Why does the unicorn have a chain on its neck? Because beachy, beachy, they don't want it to escape. I say, only through the will of the Scottish people is she queen. No, no, no. Get your facts right, Scottish knight. You're blethering again. Her Majesty the Queen is the head of state. She retains ultimate sovereignty in Scotland. As per 1603, 1701, even going back, although as zero legal standing, to the declaration of her broth when the Scottish aristocracy wrote to His Holiness the Pope, begging him to let them choose the monarch. Right, she's effectively elected in perpetuity. And uh, where else did you get it wrong? Oh, yes. And she has now granted parliamentary sovereignty to the people. So all this nonsense you've got in your head, the people are sovereign. Forget that. It's a lovely, lovely romantic wee story. And I know you love to dance with the fairies at the bottom of Dingley Dell. But no, no, no. The Queen is the Queen, 1603. The Union of the Crowns. Capish, mon ami. Excellent stuff. Will of the Scottish people. Only through the will of Her Majesty the Queen have the Scottish people been graciously granted parliamentary sovereignty. She could take that back if you keep cheeking up. So don't do any of that. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Jesus does indeed love us. And he adores us. And we adore Jesus. What political party do I support? Depends where are you from, Joe? Is that a young Scotty behind us? Well, that was only last week, wasn't it? There's a, a young Lord Reith the Labrador. Isn't he beautiful? Fantastic. Get your facts right, Scottish Knight. Scotty, you're still alive. I hope so, Stephen. Yes, you should run for Lord Protest. Lord Protest. Uh, do you like the clan histories of Scotland? I don't like the clan histories, no. I love, love the clan histories. Love them. Fantastic. And uh, you enjoy Glasgow. Glasgow is so stunningly beautiful. What a city. Lot of expansion going on in Glasgow. Yes, indeed. Wrong. You are wrong indeed, Scottish knight. But at least you've fessed up. We like that. Lord Provost, yes, the Lord Provost of Glasgow. 
Never been a king or queen of Scotland as I have ever been kings and queens of Scots. No use of 602. Not entirely right. Mary was the last queen of Scots. After 1603, the monarch of Scotland was united. The crowns were united. Maria's sent us a beautiful gift. My cousin's wife is having a baby. Congratulations, Connor, to your cousin's wife and the baby. There we are. Queen of Scots, not Scotland. No Scottish knight. Queen of Scotland. Queen of Scots is an old title, which became defunct in 1603. Capiche? There we go. Fantastic. Where would you be without me? 1707 was the Union of the Parliaments. Actually, nothing to do with the Union of the Crowns. They'd already been united for 104 years. Capiche? Well, although Queen Anne was a lot to do with the Union of the Parliaments, and there was a lot of jiggery pokery, and people fell for bribes. Scotland was sold for about 1,500 quid. I don't think there's any churchills left. Well, we don't know. Hopefully, we never have to find out, Angela, because cometh the hour, cometh the man. Yes, indeed. Uh, Jesus ain't real. What a ridiculous thing to say, dancing to me. How daft are you? Hello, good gentlemen. Hello, indeed, Rafko. What party do I support? Joe, I don't know where you live. You could live anywhere in the world. We don't know. Who is Mr. Martin? Mr. Martin called the radio station one night and was extremely rude to Scotty McClue. So hopefully I gave as good as I got. You're up late, Scotty. You're in McClue's Pie Factory. In the morning, baking vegetarian lattice slice in a rich chicken sauce. We have a huge vat of chicken sauce bubbling beside the vegetarian lattice slice. There we go. Fantastic. She never got me. Boom. She got you indeed. Boom. Remember, Ireland is a huge monarchist state, although you've got a president at the moment. Pro tempore, perhaps. What do you think of taking over? Don't know about that. Scotty wrong with his dates. Scotty correct with his dates. 1603, Union of the Crowns. 1707. Union of Parliament, 1701, Act of Secession. What is your problem? Thoughts on Thatcher, a remarkable woman, but she did dreadful, dreadful, dreadful damage to the economy and to the infrastructure of not just Scotland, but the north of England, everywhere except London and the southeast. She pulled all the money. She absolutely robbed us blind. Apart from that, though, a very, very clever woman. There we are. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. There we are. Can you say a wee bit of Robbie Burns? Poor wee timorous beastie. Oh, what a panic's in that beastie. They need to start a wassy hasty with bicker and brattle. I would be loath to run and chase thee with murder and prattle. To a moose, Robert Burns. What about that? Do you want Scottish independence or stay in the UK? Uh, Paddle Dog, I want Scotland to hang on to its own income and rebuild its own economy. Now, if that means leaving the UK, so be it. If that's some arrangement that Westminster could come with and say, OK, Scotland, as long as you stay and leave us all your beautiful cash cow stuff, you can hang on to your own money. The full bit, the full 75 billion quid that you give to us. And that's why we don't want to bite the hand that feeds us. All right. Why could Britain not take Ireland, says Dub. Britain did take Ireland, Dub. And a lot of people worked very hard for Ireland to get its independence from Britain. Oh, so there you are. Fantastic. Any chance of a tune on the accordion? Josh, of course there is. Thank you. This is just a wee thank you to you for your kindness and your generosity and your wonderful numismity. Hmm. Numismatism. Numismatism. A wee tune for Josh on the squeeze box. Are we ready, guys? <laughs>
attention to the squeeze box, guys. Just for every single one of you. Scotty McLean saying dinky do. Thoughts on a United Ireland says Petalog. Well, does the T shirt and the dial want to pick up the tab for the North? The North are a bit fed up with the Westminster government for throwing them under a bus over Brexit just to make it all fit, to make the square peg fit in the round hole. So the North are very, very dischuffed right now. Do the people of the North, do all the Orangemen and the Loyalists and the DUP people and the Protestants and all that crowd, do they want to be run from Dublin? These are the kind of questions that you need to ask. Now, I don't know. The answer might be yes, 100%, absolutely. But these are big, big questions. Now, I could say you could have a referendum on it, but your problem with referenda, we've had two, one on Scottish independence and one on Europe. And they have both failed the people and benefited the wealthy. So there you are. Uh, never in Ireland, no. So there you go. It looks like somebody's saying no. Who's beside the Queen, your favourite royal? My favourite royal. Well, we loved Prince Philip, of course. He was a great guy. But I think there are so many favourites. Prince Charles is excellent. So he's next in line to the throne. And he's a great guy. So is Prince Edward. Favourite song so far? Hello, Scotty. And Princess Anne, of course, our very, very hard-working royal. She is absolutely amazing. Princess Anne must be... She must be 70 or 71 now. Is that right? I don't know. I'd need to check. Uh, Supid is having a discussion here. What's happened? What's this about? Uh, we are united. So there we are, says Dub. Right, Dub, yes. I'll have a look, guys. Nicola isn't capable of running an economy without the backing of Westminster. Supit, what you're not understanding, we don't get the backing of Westminster. We get some of our own contribution to Westminster back as pocket money. You see? So Nicola is effectively, she's got her hands tied, but she's effectively running an economy on a shoestring. Can you imagine if she had another £45 billion a year? Maybe more once you add the trade figures. So, Supid, you're way, way, way off beam. I'm not saying I support one against the other. I'm not saying I'm a unionist or a non-unionist. I'm not saying I'm an independent or a non-independent. I'm just saying you're 100% wrong. Okay, there we are. Britain never took Ireland. I think you'll find in the early days it did. <laughs> there we are. Nope, don't care. I'm Welsh. We hate England. They destroy our Welsh language. Well, Gordon, I say to you, Yakida. You need to get your language back, big style. How have they destroyed the language where every time I hear a Welshman speaking, it's in Welsh? <laughs> so I think you've uh, lost it there. What was your Bachelor of the Arts in? It was in dramatic art, Jonathan. I'm a big dramatist legend. Hello, how are you doing this fine Friday evening? We are amazing, Dylan. It's so lovely to have you with us. And welcome, 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 I say. Uh, God White, speak it if you want me, just no one else will. So there we are, fantastic. Knight of the McClure table at your service. Hashtag float eye, all in uppercase. First Lord of the Internet, Fat Spoon with a PH. We love you, sir. Thank you, and we salute you. We salute your Knight of the McClure table at your service, float eye. There we are. Well, I don't know anyone personally that doesn't speak Welsh. There you are, Gordon. So what is the big problem? Why would you hate beautiful England? They've never done you any harm. There we go. Now, hello. Well, should have to apply to be Queen again if we went independent. No, no, Scottish Knight. You're forgetting something. 
We cannot go independent without the agreement of Her Majesty the Queen granting us in Scotland independence. She has the casting vote. She has the final say. Casting vote just being terminology. I don't mean voting in a political sense. Okay? So there'd be no applying. She doesn't have to do a thing. The crown is axiomatic and the crown will always go on. And Queen Elizabeth has been an outstanding curator and custodian of the crown. So you need to get your act together. You're in a wee dream there, Scottish knight. Independence would just be wiped out, blown away, kicked into the long grass. Toast. How can I? Capiche, capiche. How do I get you to understand just how wandered you are? There we are. Right. Should have to apply to be queen. I've never heard so much nonsense in my life. Yes, I'll have to apply to be first lord of the internet. That's uh, brung a tear to my uh, Lord McClure. Aidan, have you got a tear in your eyes, Sal? Waffles, says Aaron. Aaron, you might waffle, but that doesn't mean you're not welcome on Scotty McClure's live. You waffle away. Waffle or waffles. Again, beautiful playing, Scotty. Josh, I thank you, sir. Uh, they are not irrelevant in our language if our way of life is at risk. Gordon, what in any way, shape, or form is your way of life at risk? Come on now. Sober up, lad. There we are. You'll have to go to chapel on Sunday, and you'll have to confess uh, that you were lying on Scotty McClue. There we are. Can you say hi to Callum? Of course I can, Ben. No bother at all. Uh, do you know how to beatbox or dance any kind? Aidan, I beatbox every day. Fantastic. Westminster wants the whole of the UK to be the same as England when we are different. Gordon, of course we are different, yes. Nobody's arguing that Scotland should be independent. Nobody's arguing that. Only idiots that don't understand it. But I'm saying as under the crown. Step one, you secure the status quo of the monarchy. Then you can look at the politics. Capish. Howdy, Scotty. Howdy, Liam. Can you play... Uh, Slanger on the accordion. Slanger va. There we are. Now, there we go. Scotty should be a royal. Liam, apparently I am. I told uh, a fellow historian friend of mine that my family gave the monks of Paisley Abbey the land on which to build the abbey. And you'll see the abbey to this day, fully restored. And uh, he looks me up and uh, he said, do you know, Scotty, you're royalty. I said, well, thank you for that. So there we are. So I must have a bit of Stuart in me. Harry for King of Indies, Scots. Cry God for Harry, England and St. George. What's that from? Look it up. <laughs> Can you play Gucci on the accordion? I could buy Gucci shoes. Nicola for Queen. Well, she's not going to make that. But uh, she might make president of the SNP. I wondered if Alex Salmon should be invited to be the president, the life president of the SNP. What do we all think? Uh, so there we are. Have you ever heard Boris say anything to help the Welsh language or the Scots? No, but have you ever heard him say anything against the Welsh language? That's the point. The Act of Union came about after the Darian scheme failed and Scotland had done badly since. No, use of 602, you don't understand why the Darian scheme failed. King Billy pulled his money out and left the Scots to starve. Right? There's a bit of knowledge for you, boy. Scotty McClure, the prince across the water. Thank you, Para. How very kind of you. There we go. Good evening, Dinky Doo. Good evening to Scotty McClue, Mr. McClue. Scotty, can you do the yes or can? Are you from Hogwarts? Yes, I am Professor Dumbledore. There we are. I think we will have another referendum. Oh, sorry, are you asking me? Think we will? Oh, yes, you are. Think we will have another referendum. I would like to think so, but it'll just send the unionists into overdrive. 
if you have another referendum, then they should silence the media, right, and say, we are now in a period of parda. So apart from Scotty McClue live on TikTok, no media can report anything until after the referendum. Yeah. So you should have um, probably anything to do with British or Britain, anything like that, then uh, you would have to blank them out for that period because they're in part. Or have it that they can't say anything political. So you can still have them in. Right, here, here's the deal, guys, because I'm formulating policy on the hoof here. Right, here's the deal. You have uh, all mainstream media can operate throughout the Scottish referendum, but they cannot mention anything political. All right? Nothing to do with politics for a period of parda. What about that? Do you like that? Should Scotty McClue be running the media for Scotland? It was on the cards. There were followers as soon as you can. Do you want Scotland to be independent, Scotty? I think Scotland could do very well economically independent. It's got Westminster as really a ball and chain. That's what it's about. That's just formality, my friend. She has to act in the will of the Scottish people. No, no, Scottish knight, my friend. You're forgetting this. The will of the people with Brexit took us kicking and screaming out of Europe, out of a market of 510 million people and 52 other countries where we sat right at the top table with our good friends and allies, Germany. We controlled 30% of Europe, of the whole market. Europe's top trading block was within our grasp in the UK. And like a bunch of half-witted idiots, we threw it away. We turned to economically annihilate our economy and politically fragment the United Kingdom. Okay, have you got that? So there you are. So forget this, it's the will of the people nonsense. Her Majesty the Queen makes the decision. And I would imagine, she's a very switched on lady, if her uh, position was not secured in perpetuity, then don't sign. Yep, absolutely. And the will of the people is for the monarchy anyway. It's the will of the people. So you're in a win-win situation. Independence, under the crown, will of the people, everybody's dinky-doo. Are we happy with that? Uh, now, can you say, Amanda, you're off your head? Oh, poor Amanda. Could you please say hi to my uncle, Edward McCarthy? I can fake Fian. She can't deny if we vote for it, Scotty. I'm enjoying your company tonight and corrections. Scottish Knight, I don't know where you would be without me. You'd be right doing there dancing with the fairies at the bottom of Dingley Dell because you're very confused about the monarchy. That doesn't mean you're a silly fellow. No, 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 no. You're just not sure of your facts. There we are. So I can assure you, Her Majesty the Queen could actually go back to absolute monarchy. And then the people would not have a say at all. What about that? Put Scotland into review. Uh, we did vote and said no. Yeah, but that was then. That was then stupid. Remember, we've had Brexit since then. And it's a massive almighty failure. The United Kingdom is 350 billion pounds doing the swanee. And 250 billion of that is Brexit. So only 100 billion is the pandemic. What about that? What's your opinion? Do guns protect people or do guns do harm to people? Depends how good a shot you are and who your enemy is. So you can't really generalize with that. Uh, if the army have got their arms and they use them against our enemies or enemies of the queen, then they are protecting the people. Yeah. So there we are. But they are doing harm to the enemies. So there we go. You are just great. Rafko, so are you. I love you guys. Scotty, can you roll your arms? Angela, I canna roll my arse round and round the rugged rocks the ragged rascal ran. Fantastic. So lovely to have you all with us, Dinky Doo. 
Scotty, I'm just loving the new flat cap. Hi, Scotty. How ya boy, Josh? Dinky do, everybody. Shall I carry on winning this one, guys? This is the big one. Ha ha ha. Alex is Halbadu. Alex is Halba, but we could still have him as the life president of Scotland. And although he has another party, there's no reason why he couldn't be invited to be the life president of the SNP. I think it would be a nice touch. There we are. Scotty, what's your thoughts on the theory that we live in a simulation? Well, I like the stimulation of the simulation. So have a think about that. Salmon can be god of the SNP as long as they're not in power. Well, they're in power at the moment, Subed. So if Salmon comes along and is uh, god, he will have the power. Could you say the only power that would be superior to his would be Her Majesty the Queen? Uh, can you please say hi to my uncle? We've done that. Think Scotland will get independence? I think so. Did you just say King Billy, Scotty? I did, Ryan, but he was a baddie. Don't get too close to that one. A Viking. I always thought it was the East India Trading Company that scuttered the Darain scheme. Yes, amongst others. There we are. The Bank of Scotland foreclosed. And uh, also... um. King Billy pulled his money out. Bad, bad man. I walked with nature with the choice to be an independent country and said, no, that was then superb. We may well say yes now because of Brexit. I told you Brexit would cause economic annihilation and the political fragmentation of the UK. Capiche? So there we are. Hello, Scotty. With all the money Scotland gets from the UK, no, no, Signy Admiral, 100% incorrect, Lala, right? The UK, sorry, the UK is subsidised very heavily by Scotland. That's why Westminster won't let Scotland go. Historically, Britain has dumped every country as it becomes less profitable or sold it. In the 1960s, Britain took a check for the Middle East from America. There we are. What about that? Scotty, what's your opinion that the Prince of Wales is English and not Welsh? The Prince of Wales is everything. The Prince of Wales has a huge Welsh and Scottish blood lineage. Yes, bloodline. So fantastic. Mr. Martin thinks differently. Kevin, Mr. Martin had to be told. Capish. Right, there we are, fantastic. Against our will, Scottish knight. What do you mean against our will? There we are. Her Majesty the Queen is never against our will. She is there by the will of the people. Check your declaration of her broth. Zero legal standing. Very interesting historic document. Thank God we got out, says Signy Admiral. It's a done deal, or is it being kicked around again? What's been kicked around and what with nature? We need to know. Viking. Yes, I have a lot of Viking blood. Uh, hello from Norge. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do to Norway. Hi, Sir Scotty. Totally agree. Yes, Scotty, up the Scots. So what's the point in a referendum if the Queen's decided? No, no. The monarchy is decided. The head of state is decided. That doesn't change because of the union of the crowns, right? Remember, the monarchy are apolitical. We are looking at splitting the parliament, Westminster and Holyrood. Nothing to do with touching the monarchy. Status quo, steady as she goes. There we are. So the referendum's nothing to do with Her Majesty the Queen, unless it affected her, which it won't. It's about globalization instead of being bound by a bunch of unelected bureaucrats. Well, Suped, there you go. We are out of Europe and they were all elected. Every single one of them was elected. So we elected our members of the European Parliament. They elected their members. Have you got it? Thank you, dear. Fat Spoon is very generous in giving Scotty McClue 15 beautiful red roses. We love it. 
Do you think Mr. Martin agrees? I don't think Mr. Martin agrees. Morning, Duke of Dundee. Morning, everybody. Dinky do from Scotty McClure, I say to you. Tremendous stuff. Now then, hello, Scotty. Hello, everybody. You're an inspiration. I hope you're having an amazing day filled with positive vibeness. We are indeed, Sam. Fat spoon. You're very, very kind. That's a very nice hat. What's it called? C'est un beret. Oui, monsieur. Uh, Qu'est-ce que vous désirez? Leonions. There we are. Hello, my fellow Viking. Thank you, fellow Viking. Guys, follow us as soon as you come on. If you haven't followed, there are 5 million in Scotland, only 40% are employed. How could Scotland survive? It survived for thousands and thousands of years as an independent country. This is a blip, the Union. As soon as it's free of Westminster, £75 billion. Pounds. One farmer could bring in millions. Capiche? Okay, never mind the unemployed. Abolish the monarchy never in a million years, Decock, will that happen. You're living in a wee fantasy world of confusion. There we go. The monarchy will be abolished at the same time the rocks melt with the sun and are the seas gone dry. Dinky you do, Scotty. It was only seven years ago. Brexit's not a failure. Trust the process. Superb. Brexit is a massive, massive failure. It has failed the people and benefited a handful of elite who have saved their tax. Okay, Coke, are you a Viking? Good, England have a president. Scotland's now a communist state, Sig Singley. Can you talk about the fight of Normandy? Yes, I, I can. I am a Viking, most likely to get my great, 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 great grander pillaging. An Irish village. My goodness, you shocker. Right, absolutely incredible. Guys, can anybody remember when I came on tonight? Do tell. Scotty, the monarchy is a joke. I don't think so. The monarchy's job is as curator and custodian of the crown. It has done that. It has brought us in two, pound, two billion pounds a year direct to the exchequer to feed the homeless. It has, uh, the Majesty of the Queen gives us 75% of her income. Her Majesty of the Queen has just paid £98 million in tax. The monarchy through the Duchies is virtually self-financing. So how can that possibly be a joke? How silly are you? I would ask you. A gun is just a tool. It's the mindset behind the gun. That's dangerous. Geo dog, 100%, my fellow soldier. I salute you, sir. Fantastic. That's what it's about. Uh, Queen Nicola is a joke. No, no, no. She has got us through the pandemic and Scotland back on its feet. How could that ever be a joke? There are you a Tory madhouse. We are apolitical on here, Jason. No politics. Do you think if Scotland was independent, you should join the EU? Defo. Yes, get into the market. Now, here we go, I say. Scotty, what's your opinion on climate change? Do you think something needs to be done? What if I put to you that the climate has always changed? And right at this moment, there is nothing particularly spectacular happening and that there's another thousand years of fossil fuels, oil and gas to see us through. Why should we have to all go green? There we are. Why should we drive an electric car? Because we barely get to the end of the road in it. What have the SNT done with their boatyard on the Clyde? That's not their boatyard. That's a private company that they have helped because we want to try to keep shipbuilding on the Clyde. There we are. What have the Tories done with the boatyard on the Clyde? What have the Greens done with the boatyard on the Clyde? What have the Liberals done with the boatyard on the Clyde? What has Scottish Labour done with the boatyard on the Clyde? Capiche? There we are. So who have we got here? Waste of money. 
Scotty bro, uh, wait, Brexit was a waste of money, you're correct. Scotty bro, if there was no monarchy, it would bring balance to the force. The monarchy are the force. May the force be with them. Why do some radio bosses only care about the money and not talk to your talent like McClue? Because they are risk averse. Risk averse, I say. Scotty, can you please say hi to Sean? I can. Whoever is McClue is the market. Scotland subsidises the UK, correct, Scottish Knight, and the monarchy subsidises Scotland. Excellent, correct. So, can you talk about the fight of Normandy? We're having it. There we are. Anybody reading this never watched radio owner? Oh, wonky point. I can't talk about that on here. So, there we are. Eastern House should look like Dubai. Scotty, can you please say hi to Sean? I says, I've several guns, but I'm no threat to anyone. So I use them for sports shooting only. Geo dog, I understand I myself am a crack shot, but I don't shoot. There we are. Scotty, what a head cap. Do you like that one, guys? What do you think about the Queen not wanting to do green things? She's doing many green things. I was like, do you know that during the war, they put the heat off in Buckingham Palace, the whole lot. I think I thought it was 400 rooms, but somebody said it's 700 rooms. There we are. Talk about being dragged out the EU against our will. Correct, Scottish Knight. Now, you're actually talking for the first time ever tonight. A wee bit of sense. We like that. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Guys, if you haven't followed Scotty McClue, please get following. Very, very important. I say to you, hello from Limvadi in Northern Day. Are you the old man that Mickey C was talking about in his rap? No, 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 no. I'm not an old man, so how could I possibly be? Don't be silly. Fantastic. Hello from Limavity in Northern Ireland. We love you, Northern Ireland. Dicky do it here, I say. Fantastic. Now then, follow us as soon as you can. Old man farting. Is that your act, D. Cook? Well, we don't want it on here. Away and practice it in your room. The Mr. Martin call was hilarious. Did you like that one, Andy? Is some boy. I will tell you. People starting. I'm a Martian. Ah, you live in a marsh. How lovely. There we are. We hope we don't get the Donald draining the swamp. Fantastic. Lovely to meet you. Scotty, do you have a good knock-knock joke you can share with us? Yes. You start. Who's there? Morning, Duke of Dundee. Get Tam O'Shanter in your head. What's this? Scotch mist. We're only asking you last night if rattlesnakes were aggressive. I didn't have a chance to answer. Or was I asking? Sean, I was. I was asking about the rattlesnakes. Float eye. What were these hats, McClure? You're some shanners. Some shanners for you, Tam. You're called Tam after Tam of the shanter. You're a shanter. Get it on there. You're some shanter. Scotty, love the head cap, old boy. Daddy O'Corey. I thank you. Welcome, welcome. Scotty, read this if you love the Pope. Everybody loves the Pope. Every single person in the world adores the Pope. The most fa famous Pope and the most adored has to be John Paul II. But yes, I love the Pope in the same way that every other human being would. What's not to like about the Pope? My goodness me. Scotty, should I floss before I brush? No, 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 no. Brush, then floss anything left. If you have to brush again, you can do. Fantastic. So the brushing will clear out and anything left to floss. The Stuarts are no joke. No, and Her Majesty the Queen has got Stuart blood. Certainly Prince Charles has. Yes, so there we are, hence Prince Charles. We should have a conversation about Shan Hats. We should have a conversation about Tam o Shanters. Tam of the Shanters, thoughts on Prince Philip, an outstanding man. A very, very, very tough childhood. But he went to an excellent school, the finest school in the world. And that was just luck because he actually went to the predecessor of the school. It was around 9.25, I think, Scotty. Well, I think we've missed our hour now, so we'll stay on for a bit. 
Uh, Scotty, why are you reading these comments from old boy? Oh, where are you reading? Right in front of my face, Daddy. Can you not see them at home? Guys, see at home, can you see the comments? There we are. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Can't believe I've found you again after so many years, says Stephen Norris. Stephen, lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. It is Scotty McClue, the legend. Hashtag float I, the first lord of the internet. Live just for you, saying Dinky Doo on a Friday night on TikTok. Can every single one of you tap the URL for the Scotty McClue YouTube channel, the world's best kept secret, and go on and subscribe and follow me on there. Follow me on here as well. Like every single one of the TikTok videos. They're all for you. If you like it, then please click like so that we know we are in business. End of the last ice age. You're spot on, but Scottish Knight, you're right. You know, I mean... You know, you if, see if you mugged up in the monarchy, you could be a genius. The monarchy is not only about pounds, it's about perceived class higher and lower. No, 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 no. There's none of that nowadays. Scotland has never, ever bought into a class system and never, ever will. The monarch is there as the custodian and curator of the crown, our symbol of authority. If we were in America... It would be the stars and stripes. Good evening, Scotty. Hope you're well. I am subject to the Queen. She is not subject to us. No, no. You're a citizen of Scotland. She is the head of state. The climate's always changed, but never as quick as this. Anyone denying it's out of ignorance? No, 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 no. Will, will. It's very often changed as quick as this. How long did the Ice Age last? How long has the earth been warming up? Yeah, think about that. Amen to that, Scotty. Climate variables are natural and to be expected. Geodog, you're 100% and you are our top geographer, our expert on Scotty McClure's TikTok Live. If anybody's just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. Remember, you never, ever scroll and you never, ever troll. Those are the rules. Apart from that, it's a free-for-all. Well said, response to the climate change question. Thank you, I walk with nature. Scotty McClure's not just an athlete, you know. Good evening, Sir Scotty. Good evening to you all, guys. Thank you, dear. Hey, you're back. We're back. Hello, sir. Hope you're well. Thoughts on the Emperor Palpatine. He's not one I know a great deal about. We'll get some people to get in touch. Did you send anyone to the Olympics? Not personally, no. All the family are here. Scotty, is there a four-minute delay when I send a comment and you answer? Yes, yes, there is. I simply enjoy the art of shooting. A nice grouping on paper target. There's no malice. Have you worked with any famous actors and actresses? Stacks of them. Go on to YouTube and put in Scotty McClue talks to David Heyman and you'll hear where I'm coming from with actors. Thank you very much. Scotty, you've been to Glam's Castle. Do you know something, Angela? Glam's is one of the few castles I went into the drawing room and I could just have sat there at home. It's a cracking big castle. There we are. Hello, lad. How are you doing? Usually minding their business, but if they warn you and don't leave, they can become aggressive. Ah, the rattlesnake, Sean. Fantastic. Sean is from Arizona. And Sean is talking about the rattlesnakes. I adore you, my old British P14.303, good hard old rifle. Yes, have you ever seen a Lee Enfield geodog? There we are, the point three oh three. Uh, I'll tell you who uh, what for Lee Enfield rifles. Lord Reith of the BBC. Before he, he set up the BBC, he doubled the output at Lee Enfield Rifles in America. Woo! How amazing is that for knowledge? Can you say hello? I can, Daddy O'Curry. Hi, lad. How are you doing? Share the lives, everybody. Are you watching the Olympics? No, I'm live on TikTok at the moment. You're right, Scotty. Climate change and nonsense hyped. Uh, can you unban Joseph Ferguson? I'll check it out for you. Was he cheeky to me? The increasing rates of erosion, flooding and fires are proof of a deteriorating climate. Yeah, but it will reset. The earth will reset it itself. 
There we are. You get bucketing rain, you get the sun comes out. Earth rotational trajectory around the sun varies, hence glacial and interglacials. Capisce, everybody? Geodog is a top, top geographer. I'm from New Jersey. K. Sure. We love New Jersey, K. Sure. What's your thoughts on the books of Don't Know Them, user? People in Scotland complaining about it getting warmer. Taps off. Reflect the sun. Go for it, Scottish night. Uh, no man 67. It's not. Those things have always existed and will continue to do so. Absolutely. There we are. Now, the frequency is increasing. No, it's not. Uh, it's just being reported more. Hello, Scotty. I'm back. Dinky do. Got a better phone. It's 105F in Texas. How's it over there? It's nice and cool in Scotland, Texas, USA. We love you. Fantastic. Good evening from Gordon and we, Oliver. How lovely of you to join us, guys. Welcome and thank you. After all the monsoons the past two weeks, this is the greenest I've ever seen, the desert and the mountains. There you go, from Sean. And Sean knows his astronomy. Fantastic stuff. Do you drink alcohol? I don't now, John. No, I don't. I did till about seven years ago, but never that much. But I drink water. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. Welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McGrew. Why don't you drink? Uh, I'll tell you, I thoroughly enjoyed a lot of drinking and what have you. But it was a Christmas and I was going to a friend's house for dinner and I was driving and I thought, now, when did I last have a drink? How many units is that? How soon does it leave the system? And I thought, do you know what? I actually like driving, so I just can't be bothered with any of this. So I gave up the booze, you know. I suppose a lesser man might have given up the car. What's in the cars this one, Scotty boy, in response to your question earlier? Fantastic. We love that. Alistair, uh, unknown amusement, cup of tea or not? Oh, cup of tea, big style. Four more minutes left of tonight's live, guys. I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you've stayed with us and not just flicked by. Global temperatures are rising. More and more are dying due to flooding. You can't dispute that. No, no, no. Will, we're not disputing it. We're just saying it's nature. And running electric cars isn't going to change that. You know, we don't like you. We love you. Uh, have you watched the Blues Brothers? Oh, absolutely. Yes, indeed. And I've also seen an orange walk. Uh, so, Scotty, sing us a song, please. I'll sing you the goodbye song in three minutes. Have you been to Balmoral? I've had permission to overfly Balmoral. What does that say? What does that tell you? Very, very, very rarely is that granted, I would think. So I've had permission to overfly Balmoral. So I've seen Balmoral at close quarters from the air. I've never been invited to Balmoral by Her Majesty. There we are. Did a, an exposure shot the other night to see the stars, and you can actually see the Milky Way. Sean, I would have eaten that. It's a chocolate bar in this country. <laughs> the Milky Way. Glasgow tap water is the finest in the world. The same Loch Katrin water makes fine malt whiskey. It does. So does the spay. And so does all the burns of the West Coast. Running electric cars will reduce CO2 emissions. This will inhibit enhanced greenhouse effect. All the vegans are adding to the methane gases. So the CO2 will be going up. Goodbye song. Yes, absolutely. Say hello to Danielle, the most beautiful woman in Scotland. Okay, Scottish night. Hello, Danielle, the most beautiful, sorry, the second most beautiful woman in Scotland. There we are. Do you really think ever in the world will get electric cars? I don't think so, to be honest. More chance of a, a pedal car. Right. Should brides wear white even if they've done the deed? No, that would be telling a lie, living a lie. So there we are. How are the vegans adding to methane gas when cows are the biggest producers? Because vegans apparently pass a lot more wind. They let more go. The, it's the vegetables, you see. They let rip with the veg. 
The vegans should give up drinking water. That's a fish's house. Right, stop your nonsense. I'm going. Guys, what a privilege tonight has been. Thank you so much for joining me. Please look at every TikTok video. Please go on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and subscribe. We might be going on to YouTube at some point live as well. So make sure you are there. Uh, vegans do not produce as much methane as cows. Deluded. Vegans might not. How do you know how much methane vegans produce? Are you a vegan? Have you ever spent the night with a vegan? Thank you, Sir Scotty. God bless you, Sarai. God bless you all. You are beautiful people. The goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zing. Au revoir. And a cheery. Oh, the beautiful Maria has just sent me 10 good nights. Have a good weekend. Bless you. Thanks for the knowledge. Thank you, Maria. You're a princess. Guys, dedicated to the wonderful Geodog because of his superb input to Scotty McClure's TikTok Live, I'm going to give you a last tune on the squeeze box for tonight. Right, here we are. Thank you, Scottish Knight. A wonderful night from Scotty McClue, night night every day, and dinky-doo, ta-ra-las.